When we think of India, we imagine a country full of sunshine, golden fields, clear skies, vast swaths of forests soaking up the abundant sun. But you might be surprised to know the reality. Scientists have observed that over the past three decades, India's sunshine has been quietly disappearing. Hi, my name is Somya Pele, and welcome to another episode of Pure Science. A new peer-reviewed study published in Scientific Reports shows that from 1988 to 2018, most parts of India have seen a steady decline in sunshine hours or the number of hours per day when sunlight is bright enough to be measured as sunshine. Researchers call this phenomenon solar dimming and it's happening across almost the entire subcontinent. To find this out, scientists from Banaras Hindu University and the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology analyzed 30 years of sunshine hour data from 20 meteorological stations across nine major regions from the northern plains and Himalayas to the east and west coast, the Deccan Plateau, the central interior, the islands and the northeast. Each site had at least 10 years of continuous high quality records. When they analyzed the data using robust statistical tests, specifically man kendall trend test and sense slope estimator, they observed that every region in India exhibited a negative trend. This means that the sunlight hours are decreasing year after year. The biggest drop was found in the northern plains where the sunlight hours are falling by roughly 13 hours every year. Over 30 years, that adds up to nearly 400 less hours of sunlight. The Himalayan region followed with a decline of about 9 hours per year. And the west coast, including places like Goa and coastal Maharashtra, lost about 8 hours per year. Even the central interiors and the Deccan Plateau showed declines of 3 to 5 hours annually. Only the northeast saw a milder drop, which is about one hour per year, and in some seasons, the trend even flattened slightly. The scientists also noticed a clear seasonal pattern. From October to May, when skies are usually clearer, sunshine hours are relatively stable or even rise slightly. But during June and July, when the monsoon sets in, sunlight drops sharply across most regions. Now you might say that that's expected. But what's new is that even the so-called bright months are getting dimmer compared to the past. So what is behind this? The study points to a mix of air pollution and cloud dynamics. Tiny airborne particles called aerosols released from vehicles, industries, crop burning and even household fires scatter and absorb sunlight before it reaches the surface. But aerosol also interacts with clouds. They act as seeds around which droplets form, creating clouds with smaller droplets that live longer and reflect more sunlight back into space. The result is thicker, longer lasting cloud cover and less light reaching the ground. This phenomenon is called the aerosol indirect effect and it is more than just a visibility or pollution issue. Less sunlight can mean lower solar power generation, a serious concern for a country aiming to be a global leader in renewable energy. It can also affect crop yield since plants rely on sunlight for photosynthesis. Not just this, changes in surface radiation can alter local weather and temperature patterns, influencing everything from rainfall to evaporation. The study's authors note that similar trends have also been seen elsewhere. China, for instance, experienced strong solar dimming in the 1980s and 1990s. But after strict pollution control measures in the 2000s, the skies brightened again, a period now called solar brightening. That gives India hope that it could reverse its trends if aerosol emissions are reduced. To summarize the study for you, India's skies are literally dimming, not because the sun is fading, but because the air above us has changed. Cleaner air wouldn't just make breathing easier, it could also bring back our blue skies, boost solar energy output and restore the sunlight that sustains life itself. That was all from me. I am Somya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.